If he worked for the National for the National Basketball Association, he would have been in violation of their rules because it's in their contracts to stand for the National Anthem. The same is applicable to the Major League Baseball. The same is applicable to the National Hockey League. So had he done it in one of those venues, he would have been in violation of it. But the same National Football League, who Senator John McCain, former Senator John McCain, God rest his soul, who just passed away recently, once purported the National Football League, like other leagues, had engaged in paid patriotism, courtesy of the Defense Department, who was giving the leagues millions of dollars to do that, to promote the military, to promote patriotism. And since they was doing so, to me, it was incumbent upon the National Football League to make sure it was inserted in the player contracts that you had to stand for the National Anthem. Damn it, they've been getting money from the Defense Department since 2007 or 2008 and never found it within themselves to compel a player to stand for the National Anthem. It was never in their contract. It was never in their contract. What the NFL said is, we strongly encourage. They never mandate it. And if you never mandate it, then that very player that you chose to ostracize, you chose to ostracize him instead of pointing to your negligence and deficiencies in not making sure that that mandatory claim was put into these contracts. So why should you be allowed to hold it against Colin Kaepernick? Or anybody like Eric Reed and others who were willing to support him. Now the owners then turn around and say, this is business. And they have a good point, ladies and gentlemen. It is about business. It is about their bottom line. They didn't give a damn that Colin Kaepernick was kneeling. What they cared about is once it came to their attention that it may have been affecting their bottom line. And as a result, the Bob McNair's and the Jerry Jones and others were saying, no, you will not do that here. Jerry Jones don't give a damn about patriotism. Jerry Jones gives a damn about green. Jerry Jones is in the business of making money. You just saw everybody bloviating about the fact that the Dallas Cowboys are worth $5 billion, right? That's what Jerry Jones cares about. And if his bottom line is going to be compromised, as I was told he told to the Dallas Cowboy players in a meeting last season, This is not a football meeting. This is a business meeting. And if you take that position, you're affecting my bottom line. And if you affect my bottom line, I'm going to affect yours. That's business. You may not like it, but you got to respect it. But here's where the times have gotten tricky for the National Football League. Remember how we all made the noise about Colin Kaepernick? being the face of Nike's 30th year commemoration of the Just Do It campaign. And we lamented how Nike was going to lose money. Well, lo and behold, it's the other sneaker companies that's been losing. Nike's made billions. Since having that commercial and commemorating Colin Kaepernick with its Just Do It campaign, they've made billions Nike's chilling. So if you are the National Football League and you're Jerry Jones, if you are the National Football League and you're Mr. Bob McNair, owner of the Houston Texans, who can't seem to win a damn game these days, who's sitting there talking about how we can't let the inmates run the prisons. If you're that guy or anybody that feels like him and Jerry Jones purportedly feel, what do you have to say today that Nike's making money? Because if Nike's making money, that means they have support. And if Nike is making money and has the support, who's to say that you would not have if you're Jerry Jones or you're Bob McNair? Black, white, Latino, and beyond. In the state of Texas, stand up. In the state of Texas, stand up. Because you got two owners in your state who were swearing up and down that supporting Colin Kaepernick was bad for business. And if it was bad for business, how come Nike's not being affected? And if Nike has proven it's good for business, maybe it's good for your business. Maybe, Jerry Jones, you might make more money supporting Colin Kaepernick. Maybe, Bob McNair, you might actually be relevant and your team might actually be relevant if you supported Colin Kaepernick. Ever thought of that? See, we thought... 
said it was bad for business. And then the NFL owners, revenue went up 4.9% last season. And each owner cashed a check for $255 million apiece. And now Nike is made billions off of the Colin Kaepernick commemorating his 30th year anniversary of the Just Do It campaign. So guess what? It ain't bad for business. Now what's your excuse? Now what's your excuse? See, the Eric Reed signing transcends him being employed by the NFL. You know what it also does? It also shows Everybody in the NFL ain't on the same page when it comes to Colin Kaepernick. It also buffers Colin Kaepernick's case because if Eric Reed can find a job, particularly considering the plethora of safeties that actually exist in the NFL, and I'm not saying that there aren't some scrubs up in there, but the bottom line is there's more scrubs at the quarterback position than there are at the safety positions. So why wouldn't Colin Kaepernick have a job? which buffers his argument about collusion being exercised against him. And remember what collusion is all about, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very important. It doesn't have to be a cadre of owners communicating with one another throughout the league. All it takes is a couple of people 